Nick, how's it going? This is Bree here with Northland Marketing. I wanted to go ahead and go through your website, go over some things I found, what the competition is doing, and how we can help. So starting with your website, I see you have some really nice photos up here in your header. Looks like you guys do some really nice work, and I love to see these photos. Going through your homepage here, there's a little bit about you your three services here and then that's the end of the home page so the main issue that i'm seeing here is there's hardly anything on the home page there's essentially no words less than 100 words on the home page and this is an issue for two reasons the first reason being is that google likes to see about a minimum of 1500 words on your home page they have crawlers that come through they read your content, they try and figure out what areas you serve, what services you offer, et cetera. The more content you have on there, the more they're gonna think you're an expert in their eyes. The second reason being is that you wanna have more content than your competitors. So if your competitors have a thousand words, you're gonna to wanna to have 1500 words, et cetera. Now, within this content, you're gonna to wanna to have keywords such as landscaping company comes from Massachusetts. If someone were to Google landscaping company comes from Massachusetts and you had that a couple times or all over your homepage, you're going to be really relevant for that keyword and Google is going to be willing to put you higher up at the top. So it's important to get some more content on here and also get those keywords within the content. Now, let's say we actually did a Google search for landscaping company comes from. This is the map pack, and I see that you are in the top position here in the map pack. So great job getting yourself into the top. The way you can grow your reach and start to rank for surrounding towns is by filling out this profile as much as possible. So filling out the description all the way, adding photos, posting to the profile, et cetera, that all really helps. And the second thing you can do is put your name, address, and phone number into as many directories, relevant directories as possible. And directories are things like Yelp or Yellow Pages. These really help to power the profile. The websites listed below here, these are called the organics and the same things apply. You want to be listed on the front page and ideally the top three so that the most amount of people are going to find you. The first one's Yelp and the second one's Angie and I don't really care about them. Let's take a look at this local company here. So they've got some nice photos here. Call to action. Protect your investment. Oh, geez. Okay. These photos are pretty blurry. About them. Gallery. Call to action. Client testimonials. Contact us. Okay. So I love that they have client testimonials. This is something important we would want to put on your site. I really don't see a call to action on their services. Um, maybe the seal coding more. But yeah, I... The thing that's missing here is they want to have a real call to action to their services. So we could definitely beat them out if we had 1,500 words on their homepage, on your homepage, but I do see that they have some keywords in here. So we'll want to get those on yours as well and just do a little bit better than they have done. Now let's talk about why this page is ranking. This is a paid program I use to research websites called Eris. I went ahead and put them into here so we can see what you're up against. The second thing I want to go over is UR and DR ratings. These ratings are really important for where you fall within the Google search results. A UR rating is essentially a trust rating with Google, and a DR rating is essentially a power rating with the Google. These numbers are generally raised by a thing called a backlink, and all a backlink really is is just a shout out or an endorsement from another website. So if there's another website and they're endorsing your site with a clickable button back to your site, that's really all a backlink is. We can actually click on these, go through, see what ones they have, and attain them for your website as well. Now, lastly and most importantly, I want to talk about the organic keywords. These are the keywords within the content that we were talking about before. For example, landscaping comes from Massachusetts. There's approximately 70 people who Google this per month. For Lowell, there's approximately 150 people per month. Landscapers, oh, another approximately 150. Not sure if you serve that town. So just in those two towns, there's really good search volume for landscapers. And then, of course, if you serve all of Massachusetts, there will be really awesome search volume and then some of those towns in between. 
This is important. The more people that find your website, the more people that are going to call you an intern, the more people your land. Let's take a look at your website. Your UR rating is really pretty good, but your DR rating is really low. I would say off the cusp, this seems to be this seems due to a lack of high quality backlinks and content on your site. Let's take a look at your organic keywords. Uh, coming through here, so none of the, oh, here we go, landscaping comes for, oh geez. Okay, so you're in roughly 47th place, so roughly the fourth to fifth page of Google for that keyword. And other than that, there's not really any other relevant words here. So, we're definitely going to want to get some more content on your site. We really need to get those keywords within your content. And then lastly, you're going to want to get some more high quality backlinks to help power the website. I hope that this is helpful and I look forward to hearing your feedback. Have a great day.